What can I do with you now? Help me. Please. I'm sorry, but there's no help for you in this world. Not anymore. I... I know. Help me. To the next one. Please. Get up! We'll pay the price for every Christian you slaughtered here! Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fucking hell! Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Cristepane, my head. Oh, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. Brothers and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek.
creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <coughs> it is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, humans, hunger and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptise a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame. Shame upon them. And what sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines, even though only marital intercourse for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? And how much darker the sin if that man is a servant of the church? Who can turn his face to God, who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. I, all honour to Godwin, let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. I've got the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. I don't think so. No? Why not? Because I don't much like the look of you. You or your cronies. And I don't like you breathing on me. I don't like the way you stink. So fuck off. Your father says you don't work any, Copper. We don't. I've heard differently around town. They say your father's brought up all the Copper to be had. Are you calling me a liar? Or my father? You're asking for it, boy. Just be sure you know what you're letting yourself in for. Was that a threat? Do you think I'm an idiot? You don't get it, do you? I don't particularly want to fight with you. I don't have the time or the need to prove anything. So I'll just take my knife and stick it between your ribs. And then I'll keep twisting until you tell me the truth. So show me what you're made of. Take care now. Oh! Ah!